Hey y'all, this is Big Rob. Hey, I'm just a guy over 50, nothing special. Travel nurse up here in Alaska, um, out here to Occupational Health, get a few things done, credentialing for my next contract. Uh, I want to share a little something, a little story um, about uh, nursing agencies and some of the things that you can do to facilitate a little bit more respect uh, from them and from the hospitals uh, to your side. <clears throat> um, I recently applied for a contract or submitted for a contract um, to a hospital here in Alaska, and I'm not going to name the names because this is a small hospital community. Um, easy to get blackballed. Um, but I submitted this hospital, and you know, I was submitting to other hospitals too, but I really wanted this hospital. It's uh, you know, a little bit of a drive from the house, but not bad. Um, overnight housing, good stipends, a decent wage, one of those uh, blended wage and stipend things, but um. Anyway, submitted the hospital, 10 days goes by, and I don't hear from them. I'm calling, uh, I called three or four times, left some messages uh, with a, who I presume was the ER director. Uh, never heard nothing. And so one day, uh, I think it was yesterday, with, uh, just out of the blue, never heard from the hospital, never hear from the director, the manager, anybody who might be in a position of authority to hire me um or talk to me Did, didn't hear from anyone no interviews or nothing just an offer comes in through my agency and i said you know um i you know i was really busy that day i didn't get to the email right off the bat the next day comes my my um my uh, recruiter calls me up and she says hey uh you know uh, i sent an offer over the other day i said yeah i was real busy um i had some stuff going on uh for uh this hospital and i said okay and they want to offer you that something, but we got to get it done uh, by one o'clock today. I said, let me get this straight. They sent on my on my resume or offer or whatever it is they send over from the vendor management service uh, for 10 days. And now I got to produce an answer for them within 24 hours. Uh, pretty lucrative contract for where I'm at. And I said, you know what? No. Uh, and the reason here's here's the reason. No. Uh, if they're going to sit on me for you know eight or nine or 10 days, business days, and then not even talk to me and just demand an answer within 24 hours, that's not an organization I'm particularly interested in working for. It doesn't sound to me like they have a lot of respect for the nurses and uh, my time, my energy, um, I've got a good resume, I got some good CVs, I've got certifications, I've got all of my uh, you know, ACLS, BLS, PALS, TNCC, BLS, it's all, it's all caught up, I'm, C, I'm a CEN, CCRN, uh, I've got a pretty good resume, lots of experience. So it wasn't that, it was just, you know, their system, it was such that they just couldn't get to me, I guess. And so when you're calling these folks, and, and I don't think your agency can actually call to the hospital directly around a vendor management service, I think there's a rule against that. But anyway, uh, it gave me the impression that maybe, you know, one hand is, is working this little joint over here and another hand is working this little joint over here, and those hands aren't connected to the same body, which means it's not they're not communicating. Uh, nothing more frustrating than to sign on with a hospital and then find out, oh, we're going to push orientation back, push orientation back, or or we didn't communicate this or that. And I just don't want to be subject to that, especially with for what the hospitals are paying now. Suffice to say, I turned down the contract. Uh, you know, if it's still around, maybe next year, uh, I'll jump on that. But uh, uh, I got a couple of good things working, uh, PRN gig, and then maybe another contract here in Anchorage. We'll see how it goes. But... Um, Anyway, I just want to let you know that, you know, value your time. Take take the uh, the energy to let these hospitals know that you value your time. Uh, you're committing to them. They need to commit to you. Even if you are a, a traveler. I didn't say just a traveler. I said a traveler. Uh, you're coming in there to help these people out when they're in a bind. And uh, that's the way you need to look at it. Maintain your time. Maintain your energy. Maintain your self-respect. Oh, one more thing probably heard me say this in my travel nurse blogs before um, don't spend your money hang on to your money one of the reasons that uh, people like me can make these decisions not jump on a contract that first comes through is I keep my money I try to live very small uh, keep my expenses down and, and keep my money in the bank that way I don't have to be pushed into jumping on a crappy contract anyway more to follow uh, this big Rob uh, travel nurse RJ down here in uh, Anchorage Alaska I'm gonna go pee in a cup Hope I get a B on this test at least. Peace out.